Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 58 from our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we discussed about has many throw association where we saw how to implement many to many relationship between two models using has many throw association. In this lecture, we will discuss about has one association which is used for implementing one to one association relationship between two models. So let's first try to understand what is has one association. Okay. So has one association specifies a one to one association with another model. Okay. For example, uh, we saw that while we studying uh, has many and belongs to students. So we saw that a student can has many blocks and a block belongs to a student. But we can consider some other example where we saw where we see one to one relationship in real world. For example, uh, you can consider a department and a manager. So every department has one manager. So we can define it like a one to one relationship. Okay. Every manager belongs to some department and every department has only one manager. No department can have two managers. Okay. So this is the perfect case where uh, we can implement uh, one to one association using has one and belongs to. And there are other examples as well. For example, a supplier has one account. Okay. And account and every account belongs to only one supplier. Okay. Because in real world, uh, if we saw an e-commerce application or in supply chain applications that no supplier can have multiple accounts. Okay. So the has one association is same as has many association, but it only indicates that the other model can belongs to only one instance to the model defining has one association. Okay. And in has one association, the model names are always in singular form. Okay. So we will try to understand that how has one association works. So let's open our project folder. In project folder, we have a model. Let's say demo. In this demo model, we will implement has one association. Okay. But before that, we will create uh, another model, which is also a demo model. And we will name it as uh, like sub demo. And that sub demo belongs to exactly one demo instance okay so let's create the model first open the console exit and rails g model sub demo and let's say title listing and demo references okay so when you regenerate this model you will get uh, a migration to create that here you can see the sub demo model which sorry there is some typo let's delete this model first because i just <laughs> write do let's delete this model and generate it again with proper naming demo now generate the model now you can see this sub demo model belongs to a demo class or belongs to a demo instance okay now uh, let's open the migration for this uh, sub demo class sub sub demo model here you can see the references demo and it has null false and foreign key true so the demo id will act as foreign key inside the sub demo model so now let's run the migration rails db migrate and when you run the migration let's open your schema and open the sub demo table in sub demo table you can see that two attributes are there title and demo id okay now what we need to do that we need to define has one association in our demo model so has one sub demo let's save it okay so in sub demo model we have defined belongs to association and in demo model we have defined has one association okay it means that uh, every instance of sub demo belongs to exactly one instance of demo or vice versa you can say that uh, every demo instance can have only one sub demo not more than that okay now let's try to create a sub demo open the rails console 
let's see if we have demo dot demo dot last okay so we don't have any demo well, let's open okay now let's see what attributes we have in demo table the schema and in demo table we have name and description attributes so first create a demo demo dot create name let's write demo name okay so we have a demo here let's access this demo okay now we will create a sub demo for this demo instance so uh, let's create sub demo equal to sub demo dot create let's say title child of demo one okay and what we need to do here demo id is demo dot id okay now when you create this you can see that sub demo has been created now you can access it like uh, demo dot sub demo you will get this sub demo okay and now you can also find a demo using sub demo so sub demo dot demo okay so you can get vice versa object here okay and now one thing to notice here that uh, both model defining has one or belongs to has their referencing model name as plural a eh, sorry in singular form belongs to demo demo is singular form and uh, demo has defined has one association so it is in also singular form with sub demo now you can create uh, uh, or sorry you can implement this has one association in any between two between any two models where you want to implement one to one rela one to one relationship and you can do this using same way okay and just need to show that if you are using has one then to reference another model you have to add foreign key of model defining has one into uh, the model which is defining belongs to association with that has one model name uh, has one model okay so this is very simple and uh, most of the times we don't need too much has one but uh, in some cases we need to implement one to one association between two relationship so you can do that in this way as we discussed here so that's all about this lecture and we will uh, see another has way of implementing one to one association that is has one throw okay and it is similar to has many throw so we will study about that in next lecture and that's all about for this lecture so let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe